Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode Here today for part 10 at the Dutch Grand Prix Here in Zanvoort The last episode we kickstarted the second half of the season In Spa where we got a pretty good result and our best result of the career mode But into Zanvoort where there is a lot of orange Obviously for Max Verstappen he hasn't had the best of seasons so far But as we come up to the line we actually set the fastest time of the session But unfortunately that would become P11 as we couldn't improve on our second run Let's go to the race Across Europe here this weekend it's even easier to find the Dutch fans as they have a race to call their own once again. A warm welcome to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe of course as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit then 14 corners 10 to the right and 4 to the left with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. And watch out for cars making use of the DRS zone into turn 1 to overtake. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Bottas, Vettel, Norris, Russell, and Guan Yu Zhou, Brown, Fernando Alonso, Kevin Magnussen, and Albon. Stroll, Latifi, Pierre Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Mick Schumacher and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. With me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. Let's talk about Brown. That was a solid result in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. So it's another one-stop race medium to hard as the fire lights come on and the Dutch Grand Prix is underway everyone's gingerly away this is hard track to overtake on so if you're gonna get a job done it needs to be now we try to go to the outside of everyone we are on the outside they're free abreast almost in front of us and George has made contact with the McLaren of Lando Norris and they even spun straight into the side of us we've managed to get Bottas as well and now we're on the back of Lando Norris going from P11 to P8 as it's now Lando and Vettel after Vettel made this big mistake and locked up letting the British driver through Lando very much the quicker driver so far both of them on the soft as well as we now hunt down Sebastian Vettel as we now go to the outside he's gonna send us the long way around and we do we get the job done it looks like we do the sound effects through the first couple of corners it's incredible as I said never lock up for Sebastian Vettel losing two places there as he tries to hang on to Bottas can he hang on to Bottas Bottas on the outside and it looks like it if Bottas is brave enough to keep his foot in which he is round the outside Vettel does have to give up that place so he's lost two positions as Lando Norris on lap 11 comes into the pits to make his one and only stop Sound on the softs is early as here comes Bottas tries to go round our outside but we're not having a mark as we force him wide enough to track and Fernando the most accidentally well engineered thing I have ever done has been defending Bottas 
and Fernando saw both of us and he disappeared over to the distance and we were just left keeping Bottas at jabbing distance it's on to lap 17 now and we've mistimed it again so again the hang of it onto the hards which will take us to the end of the Grand Prix there's floating tyre not sure what's happened at Alpha Tauri it's been like coming to the pits watch over the barrier for Lando Norris there he is and Lando has beaten us out but he pitted on lap 11 so we have 6 laps fresher tyres to get after our fellow Brit as now this is Sebastian Vettel being hit by George Russell for some reason George turns into him going down the straight as Vettel pulls off to retire maybe he had a puncture and couldn't get the car back but I'm not really too sure what George was doing now and what he was trying to achieve as we were just slowly eating away our Lando Norris and finally took us a lot of laps lap 31 we are going to send it around the outside but Lando positions up McLaren beautifully but he goes a bit wide and around the outside we go at the first bank corner on the racetrack finally we get past Lando and then we started to get away those sun on the softs really hasn't worked out for Lando as his tyres, his hard tyres are gone now they're shot as he locks up and Bottas goes through now as well but Charles Leclerc the title is very much in his grasp as he wins for a sixth time in a row stretching back to back here it's a Ferrari 1-2 with Hamilton taking the last spot on the podium and we're going to come home for another place finish great race then and a magnificent victory here at the Dutch Grand Prix. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. It's very much becoming Leclerc's title to lose now after his great run of form. He's won every race since Baku. There's been a lot of races between Baku and now six in a row. It's very much in his hands. Only he can bottle it. Science though, keeping him honest, but I think it's too much for Science now. To see the standings and the constructors as well but that's been the Dutch Grand Prix not very good for Stappen and the Dutch fans it ends for Stappen's run of home races from Austria Spa and now here at Zandvoort we head to Monza next where in past F1 games we've had some great races but until then goodbye <laughs>